Allah Ta'ala addresses the whole of mankind in, in the Holy Qur'an. But then why does He also address in particular and especially the children of Israel so many times, if they are also included? Children of Israel were once uh, given excellence in so many ways. And uh, they were considered superior to all the Alameen. Alameen means the known universe. But in fact, they belong to Israel and uh, they never meant to conquer the whole world spiritually. But at the same time, it was prophesied that they will conquer the world physically. So this has been fulfilled in many ways and in the end the Holy Quran also speaks that uh, gives a warning that uh, in the end Israel will be treated very harshly. So the question of Israel is very important and has, it has many aspects which relate to us as well. For instance, Israel has uh, conquered the whole world not directly but through indirect means. And uh, one of those indirect uh, sources through which it conquers the rest of the world is Freemasons. So Hazrat Masim at that time had no knowledge of any Freemasons. Freemasonry worked quietly and it came to the notice of the world in 1905. But Hazrat Basim Salam, it came to Russia and then it was translated into English and so on. But in 1905, Hazrat Basim Salam received this revelation that Freemasons will not be imposed upon you. The rest of the world will be conquered by them, but the Jews will not be given any ascendancy over Jamaat Ahmadiyya. So this prophecy is uh, one of the reasons why Israel has been spoken of in a manner that it will have ascendancy over the world, but its exception is made. That ascendancy will not be over Ahmadis. You understand? Moreover, the concept of Alameen at that time was different from the concept of Alameen at the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Moses was not the prophet of the whole world. So his Alameen were also limited. But Hazrat Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the prophet of the whole world. Ya ayyuhan naso inni Rasulullah ilaykum jamia. O people, O mankind, I have been sent a prophet to you, all of you together. No such verse can ever be found in uh, Bible, <coughs> Old Testament, or New Testament. So that is also a very important factor that uh, Alameen were different at the time of Hazrat Musa and they were different when God spoke of the time of Rasulullah so they would be given excellency which will be limited in character and some of the limitations I have expressed but Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah would be given ultimate excellency over the whole world and this world we cannot end until Muhammad Rasulullah stands supreme and his faith is accepted by the whole world Got it?